Hello everyone. The time comes in everyone's life when you occasionally have to fight the critters. And sometimes you go the chemical route and it reaches a point where you're like, you know what, this can't be good. It's not good for the bugs, but it can't be good for the peoples either. So later on, there's a very special video coming up with this thing from Fort to Door. Dot com and wait till you see that but in the meantime upon my investigation I have found this uh, diatomaceous earth okay and I use it on the carpets in conjunction with a sieve and what it is is it's fossilized remains animals. So that really means that stuff is um, mostly calcium, but in shard-like form. Uh, little critters probably not too dissimilar to the ones I'm fighting. And I just do that. And the thing about it is it's uh, calcium and you know how, you know, uh, it's also probably some silicon in there, but you know how things can become like little shard-like pieces of bones and stuff and it becomes fossilize. So while your little micro knives are harmless to the mammals, that stuff isn't going to be too good for any of the uh, soft surfaces underneath the chitlin, the chitlin, the little armor shields of the critters because, you know, they're exoskeleton things. So after you do that dusting, I did this already, so this is just a little sample spot I'm doing. You use a broom to brush it in there real good. And this is going to be a, a demonstration of several products. In addition to this fossilized, you know, uh, lime type stuff, uh, which I brushed pretty thoroughly into the carpet. I will also be demonstrating my newly acquired uh, Kenmore Elite. Uh, 700 series, uh, ultra plush system, dual power, deep cleaning system for hardwood carpet. And this was rated as pretty much the highest rated one on Amazon for uh, suctioning volume. It's really friggin' powerful. And I'm not gonna do like a whole demo, but all of its uh, devices are cleverly held there. There's one piece that's held right there that pulls off for the, for the nozzle. And then there's one piece that just doesn't fit, uh, which I'll probably be using. It's got this extra little bit here, which this seems like it's the most powerful one there is. It's called the, the Pet Power Mate. And boy, does this thing suck. I'm telling you, in the good way. And it replaces this piece, but I'll, I'm gonna stick with this for right now. And here are the other little pieces that are there. And it has so many clever innovations. This has the feeling, well, even though it is cheap plastic, like everything these days, there's no getting around that. Things are just made from cheap plastic. It really has the feeling of a uh, highly evolved product. It, it uses the bags instead of the uh, open canisters, which for my use is, is far superior. And uh, yeah, so, sorry, I'm not holding the camera steady. I might be a good candidate for that new iPhone. Uh, 14 but for right now I'm just gonna go with what works and what works is this little device you saw me use in the mirror and I'll adjust it like this and I'm just gonna do that vacuuming I'll let you see the actual use of the thing right um, you don't see me doing it but I'm grabbing a little extra extension cord so I can get all the way to the bottom of the stairs I'll keep talking so that I don't need to do any editing this is all useful not everyone on youtube needs the stimulating visuals all the time i know some of you do but all you're doing is watching clip art right it's never of the actual thing people are talking about they just go clip art hunting oh they're gonna love all that new uh artificial intelligence stuff uh the ai stuff that does you know clip art you describe it it draws it that's gonna do wonders for uh, YouTube videos. People with genuine imaginations are gonna have the uh, advantage. All right, so various 
you know, innovations. Of course, this attempts to stand up when you just put it like that. It's got a little release that you use. And uh, the cord is an auto-retracting kind. Really quite clever. It works. I'm really pleased with how it works. So you, you pull that out. And I'm going to put a little extra sort of knot in there so that it doesn't pull loose. That won't do anything for the wall out, but that's what the extension cord is for. And uh, yeah, I'll just start using this. And uh, it turns on from the handle, which is a nice feature. <laughs> to the pet attachment piece, which is stronger and it'll focus more of the vacuum on a smaller area. So this thing releases just that easily, right? And we put this uh, pet power mate on there. And that will do the vacuuming much more nicely. <laughs> don't want to do too good of a job because I want to leave some of this stuff, some of this lovely stuff. I just want to get the surface stuff off because, you know, you want to, I want to leave what got down into the carpet there to do its job. And then I'm going to follow up with a second pass with that other box with a second unopening and something very special. Because when you want to kill the critters uh, and, and you've done enough chemicals, you know, all you're doing is you're breeding super critters when you do the chemicals. And pretty soon you've got killer aliens, right? You don't want to speed along their evolution uh, with too much of the same chemicals that everyone gets over the Amazons and the hardware stores. It's just like super bugs that you breed with uh, antibiotics, right? When you take antibiotics for something that's actually a virus and not bacteria, it just makes the bacteria in your body stronger. That's what these, you know, fogging products and stuff do. So this is a more natural approach, but, uh, shards of, you know, uh, calcium, <laughs> fossilized calcium and silicon getting underneath the uh, chitlin shells will only take you so far, but that's what this video is about. And I'm going to do the first hip side of the stairs, and then because of body position, I'm going to turn around and do the second side of the stairs. I'll let you see some of it. <laughs> are right here. I like to keep it on max, but it's a nice feature. And the width of this thing is just right in order to sit on the steps. It's a canister style vacuum cleaner as opposed to the upright. And I bought it very specifically because I don't have much carpet in my place. This is where all the action is at. And so this is where I'm focusing. And so canister style is much better for me than uprights. <laughs> Good video, right? How many of you, how many of you knew that was going to happen? So it's good for product durability. It's a genuine video.
take the camera and let you see a quick pass uh, the before and after on the sides of the steps. I want to be careful to not stop shooting the video. I didn't do the top stair. And I did this one all the way across, but you can start seeing the halfway points here. So that's just with that quickness there. And again, I'm leaving a lot, especially in these crevices. So uh, I'll do the other side. Uh, well, you know, this really gets the point across of this video. That That's this wonderful product. Uh, it has a couple of bad reviews on uh, Amazon because of the innovations, but I've never used an older model uh, Kenmore Elite. So I think there's people in love with the older models of this thing. People fall in love with their vacuum cleaners. This is my first, you know, over $200 vacuum cleaner in my life that wasn't a, a Dyson uh, battery powered, right? So I've always used those small vacuums, the handheld battery powered. I could show you those and the Dyson ones, but they don't have such great long lives. And they certainly don't use bags in there. And so I had a bunch of criteria for this that had me uh, searching for the best thing. And this was the best Amazon reviewed, except for a handful of people who really just didn't like the, the innovations. But, but I'm loving it. I think I'll show you uh, one more thing before I, I finish up because I, I love this feature. I mean, I don't want to get out into the cracks and crevices here, but when you do want to, you just take your last uh, device off using its quick release button. I think that's it. Yeah, release tool. Oh, yeah, I was pulling on the wrong part. Not its fault, my fault. So then this piece here that's built into the handle. I got a strange angle. I was pulling it from the wrong side, you gotta pull it from this side. But there's one of these pieces. Sticks in there like that, and now you can get into those crevices. I do want to leave this corner stuff, but when you need to use it, it's nice that it's there so easily. which is real nice. You can put this back in. It takes a little bit of a knack to figure it out, but once you have the knack, then it's only just a little bit difficult. Question is which side goes in first so that it, it clicks correctly. I guess the back needs to go in first and then you just need to use a little bit of force to click it in there. So all your tools are held together, uh, unable to get lost easily, except for this one. This is the only one you gotta keep track of, and I really like that about this device. Uh, this is full of uh, significant innovations, and there it is, the Kenmore Elite 700 series. Uh, with the HEPA filtration system. A lot of good stuff about this, uh, this vacuum cleaner. So there's my, not quite unboxing, because I, I unboxed and put it to use uh, earlier, but I'm gonna go finish this job, and then I'll show you that <laughs> other much more lovely and more impressive device. First time I owned anything like it in my life that tackles this problem from a very unexpected direction. Cause sometimes you got to nuke the place from orbit, from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. I used to think that was nor nuke the place for morbid, but it's nuke the place from orbit. So, and it's not the fog or bombs. It's something much better, much more natural and makes a lot of sense.